Hello, ciao! Welcome, welcome to everyone. Now it's a long time that we don't see us, but finally we do. So how are you? I'm waiting that someone arrives and see that he can see the video and can hear me. Put on the volume. Yeah. Okay. I think you can hear me now because volume is up. I don't know who is there. Who are you? Uh, be. <laughs> let's say. Give your name. Give a name. <laughs> Tell me who you are. <laughs> anyway, today we make something that we have already done it, okay? Because I don't know if you remember, uh, was um, maybe April or something like that. We have made farfalle pasta. This, this, the farfalle. Do you remember? Otherwise, anyway, I put a link uh, under the description then together with the ingredients. But in this case I have used integral flour okay so that's the different with the uh, that's the only difference that there is with the pasta okay then the rest is like we have done it but anyway uh, I will put the link but I show you how to make uh, the farfalle okay because I left just a little bit of dough to show you oops so this is I have put inside of and wrap it okay so this is let's say a stripe okay I put you down and I show you how to make it this is I show you this is would be one millimeter something like that one millimeter and a an half and this is is about four five seven four four centimeter between four and five centimeters anyway I show you how to make them I put down the, the camera just to show you how to do okay I just cut it in a, this is like a rectangular okay and then I close in this way and then I reverse and I press okay I do it again another one so like uh, I cut them all like rectangular close in the middle here and press and then reverse the other and press okay so this is how we do the farfalle, okay? The other I have already made. Close and press the other side. Close, we press here and then we press on the sides, okay? It's very, very easy press and reverse and press again okay so and then they have to dry but in this case we can use them automatically okay so I add it to the other ones here. and then we use now we can go with the sauce <laughs> if you have any questions of course as always let me know so in the meantime, water is getting boiling. You know, okay. you can see here. Okay, the sauce is very, very quick. So this is the zucchini of the vegetable garden. So I have cut it very, very, very small. Okay, and thin. Look at it. Very thin small and thin okay so start we put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil raise 
it up a little bit the fire this is let's say medium low garlic this is three cloves three cloves of garlic more or less yes two let's say not three two and a half and I put here this is a uh, one zucchini was a little bit smaller than this to let you understand just a little bit smaller than this okay we wait two seconds meantime make your questions i check in the group Ciao Fausto, ciao Amanda, ciao Susan, 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 I have to write to you. Ciao Judy, <laughs> I'm happy I made it. Yes, good that you have made it here. <laughs> Por favor. So, we wait two minutes that it goes up the temperature. In the meantime, water is getting boiling. <laughs> yes, Susan, I have to write you. Oh, it's going in the United States uh, or Canada or the country where you live. How is the situation? Tell me. <laughs> I raised up a little bit the fire. We are now five between one and nine. I want that just it starts. I don't want that it fry alone. And I will put immediately the zucchini. Sorry for this waiting time, but it's necessary. Of course, if the video should have been uh, completely edited, there should have been not this kind of problems, let's say, to waiting. I know some people that doesn't like to wait a little bit, but this is, let's say, real. <laughs> I don't want that it goes uh, immediately frying, so that's why I prefer in this way. If you have a little bit of patience, <laughs> always in the kitchen you have to. <laughs> Ciao, Pam! The water is already boiling. Can you see? Loreli, ciao! <laughs> okay, start frying very slowly. <laughs> so it's very, it's frying quite slow. Now I start, can you see? And now I put in easily zucchini. just mix them you know I that I cook always with few ingredients and uh, let's say I don't like to cook so much 
especially the vegetables because I don't want that they lose their own properties so salt in the zucchini salt in the water like this okay a tablespoon here we mix this type of pasta very quick uh, to cook it's about just uh, five minutes what I have used what I have used for the dough is integral semolina okay Johnny God <laughs> I can smell the good from Seattle <laughs> really <laughs> okay but it's not finished it's just the first ingredient look now here I have this is like this one tomato this um, size one tomato and an half I put here and I raise maximum now I can go maximum because then now the tomato and the zucchini will make a little bit of water so the garlic will not be dark now Just a few minutes because the zucchini are very, very, very cutted in the same way that they cook almost immediately. We add a little bit of pepper or chili as you like and this is parsley I cut it here I just cut it with my hand I always use, in this case, I don't know if you can see, anyway, it's a three, uh, three kinds of uh, tomato concentrated. And I put just uh, like this. Because then I like them reddish or <laughs> so at this time few minutes is ready I put down the, the
the heat and then put the zucchini, the um, farfalle in the washer. So. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil because the pasta is fresh. down, medium low, in this case it's uh, number two, from one to nine. And now I check your comments. <laughs> Ciao Andri from Finland. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it fresh in Finland? Because here it's quite hot now. Ciao Debbie. Ciao. Ciao Malti. And then I cannot see any other comments, but I put the fire off also because this the um, this heater will remain here is hot, okay? So it stays. The sauce is almost ready. We have to wait a few minutes for the pasta, and then we add another ingredient. If you have any questions, please write. Please write. There is a super smell. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> if uh, in the meantime that you're waiting for the pasta, this is then uh, attaching in the bottom. You just take uh, a little bit of water from the pasta and you put it there. Okay? So it keeps cooking and doesn't attach and doesn't burn. The only way to know when the pasta is ready is to taste. <laughs> anyway, let's wait one minute. Ciao Bianca, I deliver. Yes, I deliver. <laughs> if you are able to arrive still here. <laughs> is not yet ready. Mm. Just one minute and it's ready. Maybe less. Did I miss you making the fresh pasta? No, Martin. I, um, I made the farfalle. That is what we have already done in I think in April, something like that. But anyway, I will put the, the link uh, how to make it. And anyway, it, uh, also if you watch again this video, I have show it. Uh, I have made uh, uh, three, four farfalle just to show you how to fold them. Okay. And the different, the only difference in this case, uh, referring to April, is that in this case I used uh, semolina. Mm, integral semolina, not regular semolina. Okay, so just the difference of uh, flour. So it's ready. Now, what do we do? So now this is quite cool it down. So we make pasta here. Okay. And 
parmesan cheese here. This is so good in this way. The, the heat is off, okay? But in this case, it melts, the parmesan melts a little bit, and it's delicious in the combination with zucchini and tomatoes. Pasta is ready. Pasta is ready. Tell me if you like it. <laughs> we put in a dish. As always. Uh -huh. Okay. So I think you can see. The parmesan is lightly. It's slightly melted let's say look you can see the wires I don't know if it's cold wires <laughs> in this case but it's so good the important thing is uh, that the heat is off when you put the parmesan this I can really do this and of course we save all the zucchini so that's the dish very simple colorful color of Italy and surely delicious because it is delicious <laughs> and very easy to do very fast now because i have made all the explanation otherwise uh, you can do it in a very in a very quick time so strands strands of cheese okay strands so it's slightly strand okay small strands of cheese <laughs> not wires wires is uh, for the electricity <laughs> thank to you and uh, make the dish publish in the group and later i will write down all the ingredients ciao <laughs> ciao fam ciao susan ciao ciao ciao